Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set up real-time folder synchronization between uh, Windows and Linux computers. Uh, you could also do this with uh, Mac OS as well. So we just did a video on how to set this up between uh, Windows and Windows. We did a Windows 10 and Windows 11 set up the uh, folder sync and it worked really well. So this is a program called Sync Thing, so it's free. So for Windows, uh, you just need to download the zip file, run the executable, which will start this uh, box here going, which you have to leave open. So you might want to watch the um, Windows and Windows sync video just so you kind of get an idea how it's set up because I'm not going to go over the same details for this. So once you have it set up here, you have it running, you have your default folder, which is right here, the username or user's username and then sync. And you could actually edit this if you want. You could change this name, change the path by clicking on this like so. So one thing you want to be aware of um, is when you set up another computer for a remote device, you want to come back here to your default folder and go to the sharing section and make sure you check the box to allow uh, the sharing to happen. And then you can put an encryption password if you need some more security. So here you can see we have the Windows 10 computer disconnected because it's shut down. And we have this uh, Ubuntu Linux computer up to date that's connected right now. And you could add other devices. So the way you add a device is you click on Add Remote Device. You need the device ID and then you could give it a name. Then you have a sharing section here in Advanced, which you don't really need to do anything with. But for this device ID, you want to go up to Actions, Show ID, and then you could copy this here. And then just go back in, Add Remote Device, paste it in, give it a name. And then go back to your default folder here, go to the sharing section, and make sure you check the box to have it shared here. And to get to the uh, GUI, to be able to use the GUI interface, uh, you're going to need to set up a user for that, which is done from the action and settings and GUI. And then you put in a uh, username and password. And then once you log in with this, you don't have to worry about it. And this doesn't have to be Windows credentials. It's just be whatever you want to make up. And you could have different modes here, too. So just keep that in mind. So there's a lot of little things you need to kind of adjust to get it working. Okay, and then over here we have the Linux computer. So it's not as simple on the Linux computer, not just downloading a file and double-clicking to execute. I had to run a bunch of commands. It's all spelled out on their website, so depending what version of Linux, you're going to have to do it a different way. So I'm going to leave that up to you to figure out how to get it to work. Okay, so once you have it going, you'll still have a program app for it here. So there's two, two guys here. Start the syncing. Oops. And then uh, the web UI. And then to look exactly the same, you could add your computer here, uh, your shared folder. Obviously, it'd be a little different for uh, Linux. And then the same thing where you want to make sure you go in here and add the or check the box to allow sharing. Okay, so let's try it out here. So we have the shared folder open, the one that matches here, Home Administrator Sync. We have a couple files here. So let's do a a new folder called this test. Okay, so now we'll go over to the Windows computer and see if it's synced. We have our sync folder here. It's kind of refresh. So there's our folder there. And now let's say we want to get rid of this license file and delete it from here. And if we go back over to Linux, give it a second to refresh. Okay, so now it's gone. So you can see that syncs everything in real time, just takes a couple of seconds to kind of catch up. So you could have multiple computers, you know, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and then once you have that shared folder or that sync folder set up, it doesn't have to be the same name for every computer. So, you know, just name it whatever you want, put it wherever you want, and just, you know, when you're using that folder, it'll sync everything over to that folder. And that way any file or folder additions or deletions will be uh, synced as well. And then you could go over here and see the latest change, deleted license.txt here. And then recent changes here. So you could see what happened here. Deleted, modified, and so on. Like that. 
So hopefully that makes sense. It's, if you're you know, pretty good with computers, you should be able to figure it out just you know, poking around a little bit. And they have a write-up on their website too if you want to see uh, some instructions. So I'll put a link in the description uh, where you could download this and check it out. And then I'll also put a link to the uh, Windows and Windows uh, video if you're going to be using it on just Windows. And that might give you some more ideas of how it works. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.